I bought a Roomba this year. That's a big, big purchase for me. I bought a Roomba. Uh, I don't have time to vacuum my place anymore, so I bought a Roomba. What I do now is I sit on the sofa and watch the Roomba vacuum my apartment and I criticize what kind of job it's doing. <laughs> It's password protected too. Thank God we got a strong password on that Roomba. We don't want the Russians hacking in, cleaning up my apartment while I'm out of town. I get home after a long trip. Who's been cleaning in here? This is suspicious. You gotta be careful, man. First they hack the Roomba. Next thing you know, they're in the blender making daiquiris no one can enjoy. Bought a car this year too. That was a big purchase. When the salesman was telling me all the features of the car, he said, this thing's really cool. It's got an econ button on it. It's this button with a green leaf, and if you push this button, then the car will get better gas mileage. I was like, that's cool. But have you ever thought about just making this car good all the time? <laughs> Do you really think there's times in my life where I go, I had a pretty good night in Elkhart. I think I'm gonna use a little extra gas on the way home today. <laughs> I deserve it. And he said, sir, you don't understand. If you turn the button off, then the car gets better acceleration. And I was like, oh, okay. But uh, I'm trying to buy a Honda Civic right now. You think I'm gonna drag race this thing? <laughs> think some kids are gonna pull up next to me at a red light, just talking trash. Like, hey, old man, you wanna race? Are you a chicken? And I'll be like, you punks messed with the wrong old man today. I'm turning the econ button off. <laughs> I'm gonna win this race and mess up the environment for your kids. <laughs> My apartment's great, but it's got thin walls. That's the one downside of where I live. I have very thin walls. I hear everything that happens in my neighbor's apartment. I assume that it hears everything that happens in my apartment. It's weird sometimes. The one upside is if I'm ever running low on something, I can just say, Alexa, order toilet paper. And then if I can get it from his front door before he notices, free toilet paper. <laughs> The, da the downside is obviously no privacy. No privacy, I, I know everything about my neighbor. We never even met face to face, I know everything. We have the same first name, his name's also Andy. I know all the sports teams that he cheers for. I know he had a friend over yesterday and his friend asked him how his date went the previous evening. And he was not totally honest with his friend. I know that. <laughs> his friend asked how the date went and he goes, pretty good, we're just trying to see if we like each other or not. But I heard everything, and they like each other a couple times that night, would be my guess. <laughs> I'm not a pervert. I'm not trying to listen to my neighbor have sex, but it's difficult to ignore sex noises. It's impossible to ignore them if the woman is calling out your name. <laughs> I heard her say, Andy, keep going. And I was just like, I was done a while ago, sweetheart. <laughs> Alexa, order wet wipes. 